Hello, in this video I'm gonna show you how to enter BIOS on Dell 6320 detachable. To do it, you need to first shut down your device. So to do it, there's various ways you can do it, but the easiest one is just by pressing and holding on the power button. Then when this screen shows up, just slide down and then wait a moment. After the screen goes off, you'll need to wait for about 10 seconds to make sure that your device is fully off. And after that time, you can just um, open the BIOS and to do it, it's not as easy as it seems because you need to first press on the power button. Then when the Dell logo shows up, as soon as it shows up, you should start pressing on the volume up button and uh, you should do it as soon as you see the Dell logo bef because uh, when there's a loading uh, uh, here, loading circle, uh, then it's too light and it will just boot into Windows and you don't want to boot into Windows, you want to boot into BIOS. So let me show you that. First sh press on the power button, then as soon as the Dell logo shows up, press on the volume up. If it shows preparing one by uh, one time boot menu, then it's correct and you can release the power, uh, the volume up button. And as you can see, I'm in a uh, one time boot settings and here are my UEFI boot devices. Um, so I should be able to choose a boot device here or instead you can go into BIOS setup. I'm going to try. Okay. that that's more visible. You can go into BIOS setup, diagnostics, BIOS update, uh, sub, uh, support assist, uh, BIOS flash update or device configuration. So here you can enter different things. So if you want to run diagnostics then go into them, but you, there's m m most likely you to go into BIOS setup. So click on that. And when you click on that, you cannot go back. So in order to go to the boot menu again, you'll need to exit, then your um, device will turn on and you'll need to enter the uh, settings again. So now I'm in the BIOS and here are different settings that I can set. Uh, so you set them here and after that you can either load defaults if you've changed something that you didn't want to change or you can apply cha changes if you want to apply them. And then you can click on exit to exit the BIOS setup and it will turn on your device, turn off your device. And after that, you can just turn it on and boot into Windows normally. Uh, if you need to open keyboard while doing BIOS setup, you can click on the keyboard up here. You can click on the layout to put it at the top or at the bottom. And you can just use it or click on the X to close it. And while doing diagnostics, I've chosen BIOS setup, but there was an option to run diagnostics. While running diagnostics, touch uh, will not work. So in order to exit diagnostics, you'll need to have a keyboard connected and click on escape to close the diagnostics mm, or just wait until the diagnostics stop and then you'll be able to use touch again. And I'm gonna exit. And that's all for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time.